The Oklahoma Food Cooperative not only provides fresh produce to the customers, but they also provide other products such as fresh eggs. Joining us is Joe Nichols with Barley's Garden Patch. And Joe, you are one of the uh, farmers that provide these fresh eggs to the Oklahoma Food Cooperative. Correct. Can you tell us how many chickens you have and what's the process of harvesting those eggs? Okay, I have about 120, most of them <coughs> Heritage Rhode Island Reds. And um, harvesting the eggs involves t coming out about three or four times a day. And um, gathering them so that... So they're laying them so throughout th yeah, the they, day? They, they, lay, they start laying, there's eggs when I open them up in the morning and there, there'll be eggs when I lock them up at night. Okay. <clears throat> and you got about 120 hens out here, so are you getting 120 eggs no. every day or no. is there seasons to that? No. Uh, some of them are older and they lay less. They mm -hmm. may lay three, four eggs. Some hens will lay every, I think it's 36 hours, therefore you're not going to get one exactly every day. Okay, all right. So what's the process? I mean, you have your nesting boxes in yes. there, and typically we think we need to wash anything that comes from the barn and right. that sort of stuff, and we think of eggs as being something that's in the refrigerator, but they actually have a protective coating on yeah. them. They've got something called a bloom. It's a protective coating, and it seals them in, and they're very san san sanitary. Uh, it would be, you know, them being cracked or, uh, you know, being real dirty or something that would but that would compromise that sanitation. So when you wash that, it actually you, you actually get rid of it. That's seal. why you, it's better to have eggs that are clean, so that you don't have to do all that scrubbing of anything off of them. And that, but if I do have a really dirty egg, and that does happen, mm -hmm. I don't sell it. Okay, all right. And now we, you don't just sell. Uh, uh, fresh eggs. No. You also have a couple of plants I that have, you harvest off right. of. I have blackberries and elderberries that I pick. Uh, the elderberries come off, blackberries come off in early June, elderberries follow pr about July, and I freeze them. Okay, so you freeze the berries, both of the berries, and what's the process involved with that? Well, you just freeze them whole. You, okay. Yeah. Uh, I wash them. Now, uh -huh. some people don't wash them, but what, what I do is I wash them, and then I air dry them with, uh, with a fan on them before I freeze them. I don't, you know, stick them in there wet, because if you do, it's just nothing but a clump of icy. <laughs> you get a big berry frozen right, big together. Old, yeah. So as long that, as you're it, freezing it, them, you're not well, that, processing. Right, but as, as long as, as you're you freezing a, them whole and you're not handling them mm -hmm. or taking a knife to them. Yeah. As soon as you bring a knife out, it's gotta be yeah, a certified pretty kitchen. pretty much, yeah. All right, well, thank you for sharing your lovely ladies with us, and we look forward to seeing your produce at the Oklahoma Food Cooperative. Thank you, I appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.